Hi everyone, Jenny here. Come to share my latest creation with you. Um, this one is a sketchbook, a watercolour sketchbook. It has um, a little story attached to it insofar as the paper, some of the paper that it contains, I've had for many, many years laying about. I, it served me well. I've used a, a great deal of the watercolour paper. Um, my stepfather bought it to me um, many years ago. Large A2 sheets in a pack. And I thought, how nice would it be to have some of that in a sketchbook? Um, just in case I wanted to do um, a few watercolour drawings as well as pencil or pastel drawings. And um, this is the result. Now it's seven and a half tall by five and a half wide. It has a one and three quarter inch spine. And there's the back. Five signatures in there. Approximately 163 pages. So double that for sides. My ribbon closure. Let's move that out of the way for a moment. It had um, scrap black paper that I had laying about and I like to make notes when I sketch so I've got half pages of lined paper between each pencil sketchbook paper um, so that I can note where I've been sketching what sketch it was of, you never know, it might be so bad you can't actually tell um, and the first signature contains just that, and it's quite a good quality um, sketch paper, that one. It's just a standard drawing paper. Um, in the centre of that there is a little scrap envelope. I had a few of these laying about that I thought I would incorporate. There's some labels, spare labels in there, and some bits of handmade paper with fibres in. Um, of course you can take those out and put in whatever you like. Now the second signature on this is has between each sheet of uh, paper has this clear paper to protect it. And the reason for that is if you do like to use pastels or watercolour and it's not quite dry you don't get the transference onto the other pages. So if you've done a beautiful sketch in there and you don't want it to bleed over onto this one You've got that there to protect it. And as I said, this is Windsor and Newton. I don't know what the poundage is, but it's quite a thick poundage. It has slight tooth to it. It's a lovely quality paper. And uh, as I say, I've used it for many years and it's, it's served me very well. Um, I do like it. It has that beautiful creamy colour to it. Um, the third signature, again, is uh, back to the sketch paper, the pencil drawing paper, which you could use for journaling on or putting photographs on, anything really. I mean, it's quite a versatile little book, but it is very plain. It doesn't come with any extras. Um, and again, the uh, just to keep the balance of the book right, we have the lined pages at the top on this one, and on this one they're at the bottom. Um, another envelope with a few scraps of paper. Each of the pencil sketching paper has an envelope in the centre of the signature, but not in the centre of the watercolour. Fourth signature again is back to the watercolour paper with the sheets between. It gives you quite a good quantity to use up. It is old paper so I've had it a good 20 years um, but it's been stored at home. I like to use up all that paper. Would be wonderful. And this has been sitting on my shelf for a little while. Um, and I have since made another book since that, which I will uh, will undoubtedly go up next. Now uh, that's book number eight. But to go with that little book, I've got a little tin of pencils and some erasers. There's a little pencil sharpener with a really cute bunny on it. How sweet is that? And a selection of different 
weights of pencil just to pop in a pocket or chuck in a bag a few little tags in there just for good measure and that can go with that if anyone is interested feel free no worries if not I will certainly it will certainly get uh, used by me in the future should no one be interested in taking uh, taking it away with them on trips out holidays etc sitting nicely on a pool doing drawings paintings hope that's uh, everything I hope you've covered everything I'll be back again with another book very soon now, I would like to add um, that I am filming this in my bookend um, craft room which is tagged on the end of my house the lighting is better in here any feedback you can give me with regards to the lighting whether it's improved since previous videos uh, would be really helpful um, I'm trying to uh, lighten things up a little bit get a little bit more light on my videos so it's a little bit clearer um, but it is trial and error um, I am also recording this myself so I'm hoping the focus and the sound I don't have a mic yet is all okay so any feedback you'd like to give me if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe if you wish and I will catch you again soon bye for now